Welcome Walnut. I'm Lara, but you can call me Laz, your host for Walnut Wednesday. This is your reminder to be brave, be yourself, and know that you can make the world a better place just by what you decide today. Here, I'm going to share my weekly walnutings with you on a Wednesday. Hello, Walnut. It is me, Laz, here for another Walnut Wednesday. I hope you're having a wonderful week. I hope you can hear me okay. I just had to restart my computer. My camera just started glitching when I decided that this was the topic I wanted to talk about. So obviously, it means that we are in the energy, we are in the vibration, and hopefully you get some really good little tidbits out of this episode. I hope you're having a wonderful break. Um, By the time you're hearing this episode, it should be nice and relaxed and delicious. All the yummy food, all the treats, all the happiness, all the all the family time, but most of all, um, time to be with yourself. So I hope you're getting a lot of you time as well as all of the happy, joyful things that come with this kind of time of year. Um, Walnut, this week I wanted to talk to you about a walnutting that kind of was triggered off of another walnutting from a long time ago when I was in travel. Um, and I wanted to talk about the like different energies and upgrades and how walnutting can just lead you to to change as a person and become um, more aware and emotionally intelligible with yourself. So I hope this little pre-ramble kind of gets you in the vibe and hopefully it will kind of help with thinking about things and making decisions for you going forward, especially with um, another calendar year coming along, um, especially with the closing of, you know, finishing work and, you know, starting fresh. Whether you are a New Year's resolution person or not, this time of year is just a really good time for reflection. So my walnutting this week, um, walnut, is I had to make a really tough decision between two important events. I was triggered by this walnut because I had the same thing happen um, years ago now um, when I was working in travel where I had um, to decide on the dates between a funeral, um, like a family member funeral and a wedding, my beautiful, delicious colleague's wedding. And at the time it was sort of like family comes first and um I ended up going to the funeral over the wedding and the FOMO that it brought up was so was so heavy and I'm I'm in a bit of a bind where I've just had to make that decision again um not funerals thank thank goodness but um between a um you know girls weekend hens do and um a really significant milestone family event that you know, family from Australia and 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 the like are coming to to celebrate. So, it again, I have decided to go with family comes first, but that comes again with the trials and tribulations that are FOMO, that are letting the girls down, that are letting the 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 hen, the main hen down, and um. I just wanted to talk to the difference between myself now and making that decision and myself then, because back then my decision making was really, really based on everyone else. It was based on um, what people would think of me um, being the, you know, party girl life of the party and wanting to be a part of everything just so that I have some sort of recognition that I made my mark on the event or that I was there. Um, But also on the other sense, it was like uh, I needed to go in support of of the other person. Whereas this time around, my decision making was instantly when I realized I had a date clash was, oh, my sacral was knew which one I need that. I needed to be at and then I ummed and ahed and then I sulked and was really sad because I was like well I can't I've already committed to going away I've paid and all all those kinds of things and um and then I was like oh gosh I I feel like I had an actual physical bodily reaction walnut where I was just so um disappointed and felt so awful um that I couldn't attend this milestone um 
but I was sitting with it and it didn't feel very nice, but I was sitting with it. Um, funnily enough though, Walnut, and let me know if you've experienced this, but what it brought up was then every single thing, every or lots of little aspects were making me cross about the situation and making it be like, this is why you shouldn't go. This is why you shouldn't go. That sounds nasty, but I hope this makes sense where, um, it was because my sacral had already told me, my sacral had already made my decision for me, essentially. Um, and it wasn't actually until later I had someone external go, hey, I've actually been thinking about it. And, you know, this milestone is actually really significant. It's really important. Like I mentioned to you, Walnut, there's, you know, family coming from overseas. It's a, it's a big thing. And, um, you know, Everyone will understand if you can't make the other thing. So I think we should prioritize this. And and I did. And I had to let someone down. And that never feels, you know, I was already going through the how can I let the milestone person down um, to then swapping and letting the other person down. It never really feels nice, Walnut. But what I can tell you is that I actually do feel relief and like physical it's discomforting that I that I let someone down and that I you know will miss out and everything but I feel much more relaxed than when I had the other decision you know in my mind if that makes any sense at all so my nervous system is completely like regulated because I'm I I have swapped and changed to make the choice of attending the milestone which is quite bizarre and the the FOMO that I am feeling if I compare it to you know missing out on that wedding all those years ago it was really really bad walnut to the point of like messaging them on the night wanting to see photos all of it that wanting to contribute lots of money to make sure I made my mark and was like there in spirit you know um whereas for this I feel almost like a, like a little bit relieved to be able to be present and bask in 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 my choice it's like it's like it's like I've I've made the choice that my sacral suggested that I should way back when I f- found out about it and now I am safe I am comforted I'm like this is what I've decided and I can let I can let that go. I don't need to try and stretch myself and be in two places at once and do all the things and work myself through till burnout. I can just be okay with that the choice is made, what's next, and live kind of like presently day by day. Do you know what I mean? This is not really making sense. But I just wanted to share this kind of polaricalness with you walnut because even though they're both the same situation i think um my reactions have been or my, my not really my reactions my reflections have been completely different to past laz's reactions where it was always just trying 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 and now it's just kind of like ah oh, okay it's less heavy it's less effort and I don't know if this is part of like becoming a grown-up and growing up or if this is just part of being a walnut and that personal growth and being completely okay with who I am standing in my decisions standing in my choices even if I potentially have let somebody down I'm really proud of myself for that wash a palava with ice cream on top walnut I had to fix things so I don't know where I'm at mid-thought but basically, I just wanted to share Walnut that by walnutting and continuing to be yourself, continue to listening to yourself and coming home to yourself and listening to your authority, your thoughts and feelings and validating them for yourself. Um, we I say this, we are so busy like all the time with external things, external sounds, external distractions, all of the things um, that sometimes we forget how magical and powerful we are on the inside. And just practicing to decide what is your yes and what is your no can be the most helpful thing to uh, growing walnut as you know it. Um, 
it, it is so empowering walnut to be able to make a decision and um this was an example for me where i made a decision decision and i immediately felt like it wasn't the correct one and it literally physically didn't sit well with me for that whole entire time until it was suggested that i that i changed my mind and so i wonder what would have happened if I had gone through with it and what would have happened and how my experience would have been. I'm sure everything would have been fine. I would have had a great time and all the things, but um, it is interesting how extreme those feelings are for me now and how extreme the feeling of calm and okayness and just cool as a little cucumber with my decision it is once I've made the the right one I mean there is no wrong or right but once I've made that particular decision and how that sits in my body and it's no wonder Walnut that I used to absolutely hate my own guts because I used to make all these decisions that probably I couldn't even feel it at the time but probably were just like a complete no for me I was saying no when I meant yes and yes when I meant no um and I was completely disconnected with my body my feelings my thoughts and who I was So it's no wonder that I, you know, woke up and I didn't like who I was. And I think that's a really, really key thing is just remembering to come home to yourself. And the more that we practice um, being content with our decisions, being ourselves to be able to be content with our decisions, um, the, the more we walnut, the more we thrive, the more we grow and the more relaxed we can actually feel within our bodies, within our minds, within our souls, just within ourselves the complete and utter peace inner peace um and just accepting yourself for who you are how you are and all that you are and I think that's kind of like my key little piece that I wanted to share with this episode walnut so I hope that making choices and decisions while you are in your completely relaxed little holiday mode um may you have multiple mimosas for me and I will cheers you later when I come to this point in my life um holidays are for mom uh for mimosas for me but um when you come to making some significant choices Walmart um just remember to come home to yourself first and to see how it feels physically and emotionally and getting getting validation getting um asking questions and all of the insights from external things are all well and good but at at the time of choice it's always going to come back to you and your core and your true your true feelings so really trust yourself all that because you're worthy of trusting yourself you're so clever you're so smart and your body knows everything your body will tell you in some way shape or form if um it is it is not correct so i hope this kind of sheds some light good luck for um the days ahead the weeks ahead and i hope um you have a really happy walnut wednesday and i look forward to talking to you again next week next year all the things happy happy holidays you're beautiful you're sexy you're delicious eat all the food you're allowed to eat all the food don't feel guilty about eating the food smile enjoy yourself and i hope this helps with some decision making have a happy walnut wednesday walnut